Peace. What's good, guys? Bound for Glory is tomorrow night. And I, for one, am excited. And Impact, last night, the Go Home Show for October 21st, 2021, was actually pretty good. It was way better than last week's show, which was kind of dog shit. So we're going to go over the review and we're going to go over what happened. I'm going to give you guys a quick review and results. And then I'm going to do my preview and predictions. But Bound for Glory tomorrow night should be one hell of an event. It really should. I think Impact would do well. Uh, we're going to see the debuts of the Inspiration, formerly known as the Iconics. Possibly the debut of one Wyndham Rotunda, a.k.a. Bray Wyatt. And possibly Adam Schur, a.k.a. Braun Strowman. So it should be set to be a good show tomorrow night. So we kick things off with the Bullet Club, that being Chris Bay and Hikaleo versus Finn Juice. That was a no contest, and I was pissed as fuck about that. But it is what it is. You know, sometimes Impact does some WWE type shit. Then, uh, we had a very cool video package hyping up Josh Alexander. Then we go into our second match of the night, which is Jordan Grace and Falava versus Chelsea Green and Crazy Steve versus Josh, I mean, versus John Schuyler and Tennille Dashwood. And basically, Schuyler and Dashwood, they win. And they uh, hit the spotlight kick for the win. So that was that. Moving on, we then have a promo involving Heath Slater. He hits the ring. My bad, Heath. Heath hit, uh, hits the ring. That's a really good promo. He's talking to Rhino, trying to talk some sense into Rhino. Outcome violent by design. Eric Young cuts a good promo, and then it all leads into a brawl. Heath Slater gets his ass beat. And Valent by the trying to take him out. He's yelling for Rhino to come in and save him. But Rhino hops over the barricade and dips out. And I have no idea what's going to happen. I, I don't know. But it should be good. Then we got a video package for Minoru Suzuki. Then we had... Savannah Evans versus Mickey James. Pick your poison. Mickey James wins via the DDT. Post match, Parazo comes out with Matt Hoett by her side, and he clotheslines Mickey James, and then Parazo grabs James's hair, and that was that. We had a Vignette by Brian Myers on how to be a professional chapter 44. Some more bullshit. Then there was a contract signing involving decay and inspiration. And it's going to be official. And their um, legal representative, R.D. Evans, signed a contract. So that's official. Then we got a banger of a match. That being Alex Zane versus Trey Miguel. Pretty decent back and forth match. In the end, Miguel wins. And then post-match, my boy Steve Macklin, who's been putting in some real fucking work. And I do hope that he does win the X Division Championship at Bound for Glory. He got involved, taking out uh, Chris Bay, 
and uh, El Phantasmo, but El Phantasmo, he takes out a super, I mean, he hits super kick on Macklin, and so he stands tall, and then he low blows uh, Trey, and that was that. Then the closing segment featuring a face-to-face involving Christian Cage and Josh Alexander. Basically, the two talk shit, and then they begin to get into a huge fucking brawl, and then we close the show. That was Impact. So, it was pretty okay, if I do say so myself. I'm super excited for Bound for Glory. I think it will be a good show. It sucks that it's at 10 o'clock at 10 p.m. tomorrow, but I'm going to damn sure cover it. And I'll have a review out for you guys on Sunday. So thank you guys for watching. Please hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe for more videos. I'm going to do my preview and predictions for Bound for Glory. And also stay tuned for my SmackDown review. That'll be up a few hours before Bound for Glory. I'll catch you guys then. Peace. up guys peace how's it going hope you guys are doing well back at it again with another video let's talk about it bound for glory preview and predictions this card is pretty fucking stacked and i'm actually quite excited for the event we've got i believe eight matches and all so let's go ahead and get started shall we we're gonna start out with Call your shot gauntlet match featuring Rich Swan, Brian Myers, Moose, W. Morsey, Chris Sabin, um, versus like 15 other people. And then the winner receives a trophy and contract for a title shot as they're choosing within one year. I believe during that match, Adam Schur, aka Braun Strowman, will make his debut. And he'll win. And I believe he's going to go after the Impact World Championship. That will be a perfect match for him. Next, we have Heath. Versus Valent by Design. I'm pretty sure Rhino will probably get involved. And it will be um, Rhino and Heath getting the win. And then I'm predicting that Heath will turn heel on Rhino. It makes perfect sense. That would be really, really fucking cool. It could be a beautiful story told if done right. Next, we have the Good Brothers versus Finn Juice versus the Bullet Club featuring Chris Bay and Hikaleo for the Impact World Tag Team Championships. I'm predicting the Bullet Club will win. Moving on. Trey Miguel versus Steve Macklin versus El Phantasmo. I'm kind of torn between this because I really am high on Steve Macklin. Like, the dude has to fucking win. But I wouldn't be shocked if El Phantasmo has, gets a win as well. Um, I'm going to go with Macklin. Macklin's too over right now. He's a legit badass heel. And I think that he would do phenomenal as X Division Champion. I, I really do. Like, I, I really fucking do. I think that Impact will do this guy tremendous justice. Next, Deanna Perrazzo versus Mickey James for the Impact Knockout Women's Championship. I believe that Mickey James will win. It kind of makes sense. Parazzo's beaten basically everybody, and there's no one left. I don't see um, Parazzo retaining. I, I just don't. There's nothing else she can do. She's beaten everyone. Next, we have 
decay versus the inspiration for the Impact Knockouts Tag Team Championships, the inspiration will win. It makes sense. They're the only legit team. These titles need to be legitimate. We all know that Havoc and Rosemary are single stars, and they're better off as being single stars, in my humble opinion. Moving on. Um, we have um, the pre-show, which is for the Impact Digital Media Championship featuring Crazy Steve, Falava, Jordan Grace, Chelsea Green, Neil Dashwood, and John Schuyler. Um, I'll do two picks here. Neil Dashwood and Jordan Grace. Those are my two picks to win. Either or I'm fine with. And then finally the main event. Christian Cage versus Josh Alexander for the Impact World Championship. Josh Alexander has to fucking win. He has to. And I believe that this kid is going to be an amazing, an amazing Impact World Champion. My pick is Josh Alexander. He's got to win. He's got to bring the championship home. And I do believe that he probably will challenge Adam Shearer, a.k.a. Braun Strowman. I'm also predicting that Bray Wyatt may make an appearance, a.k.a. Winder Batonda. So I think that he'll make an appearance as well, probably tomorrow night. I'm not sure. I know a lot of people are talking about him going to AEW, but I feel like he would be better in Impact, especially if he's going to keep the Fiend character, that persona that screams Impact all day, every day. If not, if he's going to keep the crazy, bizarre cult leader, then AEW. But I do believe that Wyndham will make his appearance, a.k.a. debut tomorrow. And thank you guys for watching. Please hit the like button, comment down below. Subscribe for my videos. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.